Hi guys, it's Megaminx here. I hope you're doing well today. We're playing off. I'm kind of cheating and I swapped this around with Metro in the schedule, but a lot of you want to see it, apparently. I know nothing about this game. Literally, I have never seen anything about it. I've seen that some of the RPs are a bit are fairly long, but I haven't seen any proper information on it. So let's begin. The text is not hard to read, so I'm good. Caution, it's possible that certain scenes in this game are shocking to an unwarned public. Or maybe not. Yeah, got the music on. Unproductive fun time. Well, I'm going to call myself Minx for this because it is a French game, not a Japanese game. So I don't need an honorific or anything. I could have called myself Lay Minx, but... Um, I'm not going to do that either. I'm just going to be Minx. Uh, your name is Minx, correct? I am a girl. Alright. Welcome, Minx. Welcome! Thank you very much for welcoming me, game. I appreciate it greatly. You've been assigned to a being called the Batter. The Batter has an important mission. Be sure that it's accomplished. He will let you out in Zone Zero. Good luck. We will let you out in Zone Zero. Good luck. For more information, find the one called the Judge. Off. I don't really know what this is about. I know it's meant to be like really surrealist and quite disturbing at times, so we'll see. To move my body, use the arrow keys on your keyboard. To interact with the environment, use the space bar or the enter key. Zone zero. Awesome. Let's go a nice little house. This is cute. It's cute, guys. This is safe. There cannot be any other living beings in Zone Zero, so I must assume that you are only a mere figment of my imagination, says the cat. Nevertheless, I will introduce myself. I am the judge, and I am aching to know your name, dear illusory interlocutor. Interlocator? I'm the batter. I've been assigned to a sacred mission. It is a pleasure, however, is it... It is not the puppet I was addressing, but the puppeteer controlling it. What is your name, dear puppeteer? Her name is Minx. She can't talk to us. But I can read what you're saying. <laughs> exactly what I said. Even though you two are but an inexistent apparition in my eyes, let it be said that I am delighted to meet you as well, dear Minx. I believe we're in need of your services. Many people are in need of my services, you know. Everybody loves cats. We rub ourselves against their legs and purr in the most insistent manner. They adore that. I'm not talking about that kind of help. I see, but what sort of service could I offer to an ectoplasmic entity? I have a sacred mission to fulfil. I must purify the world. There is no objective more laudable than yours. I accept to serve you as a guide through this area, if it is of any help to you. Thanks. Okay. I guess the cat's going to help us. It's impossible to get around this obstacle. Okay, let's go in the house. Quite peculiar. Wonderful. A luck ticket has been found. Don't know what that is. Guess it's lucky, probably. What do you have to say to yourself, bold cat? Allow me to confess that I find you quite tangible for a phantasmagorial being. Might you in fact be a creature of flesh and blood? I think so, yes. So I've been mistaken from the beginning. You do not even interrupt me in my deluded phantasms. This is relatively bizarre, I must say, for you are the first living being I was given a chance to encounter in this loo. I had in fact concluded that Zone Zero was an empty land. Obviously I was misled. However, there exist other zones, and in these territories the risk of hostile individuals attacking you in the most violent manner is quite high. Your sacred mission will likely lead you into these lands. Would you like me to teach you the art of violent confrontation? Yes. <clears throat> okay, guys. So, uh, from what I've been told, this is very similar to, like, standard RPG combat. So I'm going to skip through this a little bit. You can read if you wish to, but basically... Okay, so you have a choice to attack, auto-attack, so the computer decides, or flee. Okay, uh... 
and Flea lets you obviously run away. Choose attack, select the batter, then choose attack on you to off me with your bat. Do not utilise the auto function, the computer will not hold back and I would take the risk of dying, taking my secrets with me to the grave. Okay, we're going to, uh, the batter. Excellent, dear sportive companion. You must consider the fact that the batters and the enemy's levels determine the impact of your assaults. It is possible that you or your adversaries could avoid the barrage of attacks that you will throw at each other with slyness. On occasion, your cast iron will get you in a critical hit, which will cause teeth to fly in heaps. But let us move on, if you are willing to. You may have noticed that when you chose attack for the first time, after you selected the batter, a new window opened itself at the lower right-hand side of the screen. Okay, so, uh, you have attack. Competence permits you to use one of your special skills. Objects is using your inventory. And... Okay, so that's to run away. Okay, so we got to use this luck ticket here. Ow, oh, that was pretty violent. Surprisingly so. Objects, luck ticket. Impeccable. Your mastery of battle borders on brilliancy, my dear. But there is one thing we have not yet addressed. I am, of course, talking about competences. They are generally, in layman's terms, special moves that can be triggered surprisingly effects. They may induce a resurgence of health points or maybe in an and of themselves powerful attacks. Nevertheless, know this. Any use of competences leads to a consumption of competence points. So it's like your magic. It's basic RPG stuff, guys. Okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, so we're going to use a competence attack on uh, the cat now. Wide angle. An odd appearing cryptic cat. Oh, so it's like an analysis of the enemy. Now you know not only all about me, but also about the art of combat. About the wide angle. Know that its analysis will always be based on the start of the battle. Thus it may accidentally analyse adversaries you have already knocked out for a long time. The confrontation ends theoretically when the health points of your team or all of your opponents fall to zero. Take good care of your health if you want a successful career in purification. From now on, you'll be ready to crush all impure obstacles that get in your luminous mission's way. While well, supposing your intelligence is on the same level with your undeniable capability of dealing bat blows to an innocent cat, be it as it may, your training has not reached its end yet. Let me ask you to follow me, if you still want me as your guide. Okay, so this is the tutorial. Okay, what's this? Ah yes, the past you here, you need to use your cerebral organ, you know, the one bathing flabbily in your tired cranium. The dialogue is weird. I believe those floating blocks correspond to symbols you can see on the wall in some way or another. Okay. It's a puzzle. I am already completely clear as to what's going on. Ah yes, the past through here, you need to use a cerebral... Okay. I believe those floating blocks correspond to the symbols you can see on the wall in some way or another. What floating blocks? These? What the hell is going on? Do I have to press them really fast? It doesn't seem to want me to let these press these ones here at all. Like, I can't. Which is weird. I am thoroughly confused on the very first puzzle of the game, guys. This does not bode well. And I didn't even mean to leave. Hmm. Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay. So that's two. That's three. There we go. I'm a genius, guys. Puzzle solved. And here's another one, though. What do you want me to do, cat? Is there a problem, my dear pictorial heroes? I am not your 
Genitor, I cannot do everything for you. Nonetheless, my dad suggests you wage activating certain ones of these strange floating blocks more than one time, if required. So come, solve this intriguing puzzle for me and quickly if you please. I wish to rejoin the ground floor as soon as possible. Okay. Does that mean I got it wrong? This is incredibly confusing now. So you have a 1, 2, 6 and an 8, 2, 3. 1, 2... That'd be 6. And that'd be 8. 2. And then 3. Yeah, I did it! I'm a genius, guys! Genius! Let's do this one as well. Let's just... Aha, finally, after all that exertion, the eagerly awaited recompense makes it entrance to the scene. Nom 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 oh, nom 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 crunch nom nom crunch Well he seems to be busy now What's down here Okay so we Oh I wanna open this A piece of silver flesh has been found Lovely I Guess we just press on No it's a puzzle again isn't it It is a puzzle again This time with no actual way of knowing what the puzzle is. Oh dear. This could be a problem, couldn't it? Let's be honest with you, little manga minx does not do well with puzzles. And, uh... Ah! Hang on, hang on. It's this. It's this, guys. Look. Four, four, eight, two, eight, seven, C. Now this could be a problem, because <laughs> uh, I don't think I have a pen to write this down with anywhere near me. Don't ask me why I don't have a pen on my desk anymore, but I don't. They seem to be eaten up. So four, four, eight, two, eight, seven, C. What does C mean? Cat. So it was, uh, four, four, eight, two, eight, seven, C. Oh yeah, genius. And we've got to a chest of some kind. Here is an accessory that's going to be especially helpful on your purifying quest, dear enlightened student and sportive friend. It is a cube, hovering mid-air, as you have likely noticed. Nevertheless, you'll be able to differentiate it from similar ones by the contrast of bad taste it imposes on your view of its clashing colour, defy any sensible course of plastic arts. Right, but do not judge it too quickly, because despite its criticism, um, criticizable appearance, this red cube is of, un of undeniable use. Aside from rendering you the entire entirety of your health and competence points, it is capable of saving your progress and sending you to the nothingness. The nothingness is a lure of transition outside of space itself, where you can travel from one point to another at the speed of light. I now invite you to try it out in order to discover locations more populous than this deserted land. Open your wings, my dear companion. Hurry away towards the following zones without hesitation. Your only enemy is the fear that will grab you. Okay. Do not worry, I too travel a lot through the different zones of the world. We will new we will newly meet one another eventually, without a doubt. By the way, take this. This object of a curious name will be the key that permits you to enter Zone 1. Have I clarified that you can at any time consult your inventory and characteristics by pressing the escape key? Okay, so I've got a card. Okay, so I'm level 2, the badder. I don't know how to save my game, which is an issue, but we'll soon find out, I guess. Health points and competence points completely restored. Save game. Oh, we saved them at these. Okay, cool. Return to the nothingness. Off we go. This is the world map. Really? I guess. Okay, we're getting out of here now. 
This is zone one, I guess. Welcome to zone one, everyone. Gonna save in a different slot here. Gonna have to have a quick look at the next screen, shall we? Let's have a little peep. A little peep at the next screen. This is gonna be weird as hell, this game, I can tell. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the first installment of Off. Very much a pilot episode. Let me know what you think. A lot of you did ask for this, so I'm assuming that people want me to keep playing and it gets a far more interesting now I'm past the tutorial. Although I did quite like that so far. Uh, leave a comment, a like, a favourite, all that good stuff if you did enjoy. Um, should I continue with the series? Bye for now, Minx Links. I'll see you really soon. Have a good day. So tell me, uh, who's your favorite LP cat? Jack and paper planes, ghosts in your closet, take a snapshot with fatal frames. Ain't no place like home, Silent Hills, where she's hanging out. Creeping through the fog, hope to God it's not your paper route. Plasma cut is started when it busts in the dead of space. Stay corpse, scrape away, so tough without your fucking face. Another day, another game to conquer, just to say the least. Queen of blessed plays, all hail to the mega mix.